Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of ZQ1 Plays. And tonight, I'm going to be giving you uh, just a little bit more information about Herba Mystica and what you can do to farm the ones that you're looking for and the ones that you need for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This does work for both games, all right? So let's get into it a little bit. What is this website that I'm on right now? This website is called Cerebi. I've mentioned it many times on my channel already before. Um, but this page that I'm on specifically is about the six-star raids in the game. There it is. Terra Raid Battles, six star. And it lists out every Pokemon that you can possibly encounter in Terra Raid Battles, six star. If you go over here to the right uh, side of the screen, which you might not can see, there's also a five star page. And you can swap uh, between the different levels of raids. Today I'm going to be referring mostly to six star raids because they are the most advantageous for farming Herba Mystica. But five star raids do drop Herba Mystica as well, but do not even attempt four star and below. You will not get any Herba Mystica from any of those raids. Six-star uh, raids are also notable because, as you can see here at the end of every single Pokemon that you could possibly encounter in a six-star raid, is this 5% chance to get an ability patch. Ability patches are items that are worth a lot. You can usually uh, find someone online who will trade you a shiny Pokemon or more for one single ability patch. And so, yes, they are worth farming as well. Now, let's get into how do you know which Herba Mystica drop from which Pokemon. And it's actually a really cool system that Game Freak involved here in the way to uh, choose which Herba Mystica is going to drop. And I'm going to show you. I've made a little spreadsheet about it, as I like to do, um, to break it all down for you. So let's jump into that spreadsheet, and I'll tell you exactly how this works. All right, I know it's cutting off a little bit over there on the right-hand side, but here's what you're looking at. In any five-star raid, there is an 11% chance of a Herba Mystica to drop. So if you fight... So if you fight a Pokemon that has an attack, EV, um, basically, how do, you, how do you find that out? Let me, let me show that to you really quick. If you click any of these Pokemon and bring up an online Pokedex, like let's do Gyarados, scroll down, and right here it tells you effort values earned. What EVs does Gyarados give you? He gives you attack points, and so that puts him squarely in the attack EV column for which Herba Mystica he's going to give you. Now, there are a couple of outliers that don't play by this rule, and I will point them out as we get to them, but in general, that's how you determine whether a Pokemon is going to drop the uh, Herba Mystica that you're looking for or not. So really quickly, Attack EVs Pokemon are going to drop Spicy Herba Mystica. Defensive Pokemon are going to drop Salty Herba Mystica, one of the most popular. Special Attack EV Pokemon are going to drop Bitter Herba Mystica. Special Defense Mons are going to drop Sour Herba Mystica. And speed mons are going to drop, even though you can't really see it there here. Boom. Uh, sweet Herba Mystica, right? So that's the list, and that tells you exactly which ones to look for. Okay, well, how do HP mons work? Because there are some Pokemon out there that give you HP EVs. Now, they are rarer in terms of where uh, they can appear in these raids, because as you can see, we have a long list here of attacking Pokemon. A uh, pretty good list of special attackers and quite a few of the rest. But in terms of HP, there's only one singular party of Pokemon. And let me tell you, these are what I would call your golden Pokemon, your cash cows, the ones that you should be looking for at any time that you set up to look for a raid. We're, I'm going to show you here in just a moment. The reason is because HP EV mods give you an 11% chance in 5-star raids and a 14% chance in 6-star raids of dropping each Herba Mystica. That is not a chance to drop a random one Herba Mystica. It's a chance to drop one of each. So I have uh, taken out a Dondozo before that's given me two or three different types of Herba Mystica. I've also taken out uh, a Dondozo that gave me multiple of one type of, of Herba Mystica. So HP Mons are by far the best chances to get Herba Mystica. You basically have five separate chances to get Herba Mystica in one six-star raid against one of these Mons versus these other raids where you have that same 14% chance one time to get an Herba Mystica. And so I say it again, these are the Mons that you should be looking for, and they're on your screen now. Vaporeon, Blissey, Amoongus, Satitan, Dondozo, and Farigaraph. As soon as you see one of these on your Terra Raid Battle selection screen, you should absolutely click one of them and jump into the raid if possible. If it fails, search again. 
and continue doing so until you jump into one of these raids. Now, wh what if you only need Salty Herba Mystica? Well, you prioritize the HP Mons because they're giving you five chances to get a Salty. But if you don't find one of them, then now you know I'll be looking for one of these defensive Mons to make sure that if I get an Herba Mystica, it will be Salty. Pelipper, Torkoal, Hippowdon especially. Um, so what I do when I go to farm Herba Mystica, because I'm traditionally looking for Salty because Salty is the most useful, I will prioritize HP Pokemon. And then if they uh, are not available, then I will, of course, use Defensive as well. Now, before we wrap up today, I do want to show you a couple of, of real examples of me uh, doing this process in a game. So here, and uh, pardon the volume coming in here, here is me finishing off the Dondozo raid. All right, I decide not to catch it, and look what the rewards are here. I'm going to pause it on the screen. Two Salty Herba Mystica, a bottle cap, and a legendary ability patch. Now, obviously, you're not going to get an ability patch every single time, but from defeating one Pokemon with one of these HP Mons that I was referring to, Vaporeon, Blissey, Amoongus, the Titan, Dondozo, and Ferrigraph, it was Dondozo, I got two different Salty Herba Mystica. All right, here's a Ferrigraph that I defeated earlier today. One sour and one spicy. I didn't hit the jackpot, but I did get two separate Herba Mystica from one of these HP-related Mons. All right, and here is one more example here of me finishing off a Ferrigraph raid. This is another one that happened earlier today. And I decided not to catch it, just like I did with the Dondozo. You'll see it escape into the cave. Okay. And then... Let's see my rewards. This time, three different Herba Mystica. This method works, you guys, I promise. So this time I got a sour, a spicy, and a sweet, as well as two bottle caps. These HP Mons are the ones that you're going to be wanting to farm if you want to find Herba Mystica like we're looking for here. So, all right, I'm out of the cave, and now I can click on my Poke Portal. And this time uh, we're going to hit Terra Raid Battle. And this is where... I recommend you go, if you're just looking for terror raids on your own in your own world, then you may or may not luck upon one of these HP Mons. But in this terror raid battle, you usually have a few six-star raids to choose from. So here we go, popping up now on screen. I have Kilowattril and I have Gudra. Those are the two six-star raids I have available to me. Referring now to my chart, you can see pretty easily that Kilowattril would reward me with a speed... That is a sweet Herba Mystica, perhaps, and Gudra would uh, award me with a sour Herba Mystica. Neither are what I'm looking for. Neither are in the HP column. And those ones that we're looking for in that HP column are Vaporeon, Blissey, Amoongus, Satitan, Dondozo, and Ferrigaraph. I did not find anything. Now, if I was desperate and I just wanted to be doing raids just for fun, then I might would click on this Cloister, who is defensive-oriented in the five-star tier. Um, or I might click on the Gudra, because I uh, would like to have a good Gudra on my team at some point. But instead, you can do this, which is what I'm doing. I'm going to wait out the timer. I believe it's around two minutes. I haven't really timed it, but it's somewhere around there. Then that bottom right tab that says Check for News Postings is going to turn a dark blue. When that turns dark blue, you can click X, and it will bring up new options on the page here. So what I recommend is if you're going to be grinding some terror raid battles, maybe do it while you're watching a movie or while you're hanging out with the family in the family room, and you could just have this in the background and just sit on this page, continuing to press X every few minutes until you find one of the HP Mons, then jump into the raid and defeat it. Now, you may be thinking, okay, that's all well and good, but I have a really hard time clearing six-star raids. Well, that is going to be coming up on the channel very soon. We're going to have a six-star raid, um, basically, preparation guide. How can you prepare the best for these raids? And uh, I'm going to give you a, a different theory, maybe, than what you've heard before. And So look forward to that video coming in just a few days. But there you see it, the dark blue X check for new posting sign. We're going to click X, and here are our new postings. And still no HP... Pokemon, but that's okay. Uh, I will just continue to do this until we find one, and uh, that's how you're going to find these HP six-star raids, and when you get one of them, Vaporeon, Blissey, Amoongus, Satitan, Dondozo, and Ferrigraph, you will have a much higher chance of getting different Herba Mystica. So I hope that that works well for you guys, and I so appreciate you tuning in to my channel, and uh, please leave a, a like or subscribe, and be safe out there. I so appreciate you guys. Peace out.